Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it is time for one of my favorite videos of the month, the show us your sheet load slash happy mail video. I hope you'll stick around and see the beautiful creations that subscribers sent in this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I like to stop by and share with you what I received in my P.O. Box for the month. This used to be a strictly show us your sheet load feature where the cards would only be sheet loads, but I did start getting non sheet load cards or just because cards. And so I've started sharing those as well at the same time. Now, if you ever want to show us your sheet load, there are three different ways to do that. You can send in a card like these subscribers have, or you can share a video or Instagram post. I do have a video linked in the description box below that gives you more details on that. But if you share on YouTube or Instagram, each month on the sheet load of cards printable are a couple hashtags that I would love for you to use so I can come see what you've created. Now, Once you're done watching today's video in the description box, I do have links to the YouTube videos and the Instagram posts that use this month's hashtags. Now, even though I only share the videos and Instagram posts for the specific month, if you send in a card for the show us your sheet load feature, you can use any month's sheet load that you want and I'll still share it. So you'll notice today that it won't just be June 2021's layout that you're seeing. Let's go ahead and see what came in the mail. Danny B from Nebraska sent in the adorable unicorn card that you got a little peek at there during the intro. And there is so much sparkle on this card that you unfortunately can't see on the video. It is just too cute. Now you may recognize Danny's name from the Four on Fridays collaboration that we do together. I will link that playlist in the description box below if you want to check it out. Rachel S. from Canada sent in three lovely cards. She has just recently found sheetload of cards and said she has enjoyed going back through the old editions. The one on the left is from May 2021 and the two on the right use June 2021. Yvonne K. from Wisconsin sent in two cards in June. The one on the left uses the August 2019 sheet load of cards, and on the right she has used the latest, June 2021. I especially love that teacher card. Thanks, Yvonne. Jennifer D. of California used the June 2021 sheet load of cards for the trio that she sent in this month. From left to right, they start to switch up the sheet load a little bit. On the left, she followed the sketch pretty much exactly. In the middle, she moved that center strip down. And then over on the right, instead of using paper for her center strip, she has some twine or some cording there going around the front of her card. I just love that touch of gold. Wanda R. of Virginia used June as well and she said she is really enjoying this month and might even use it for her Christmas cards. I love the bright colors in the background of her card and that sentiment. I totally agree with it. Thank you so much, Wanda. Janet C. of Illinois sent in this gorgeous card. I am loving those royal blue pattern papers and all of the elements on her focal point. This is just gorgeous. Thank you so much, Janet. Terry R. of Massachusetts used a vellum card base for her June 2021 sheet load card. I like how so many of you gave that a try this month. Now for her card, because she didn't like the adhesive showing through to the back of the vellum, she did put a piece of white cardstock on the back of the front and the back of the back. 
Although I didn't receive these next sets of cards in the mail, they are pretty special and I wanted to talk to you about them. Recently, Joanne S. of Dort University reached out to me to see if she could use the June 2021 sheet load of cards for an event that she was holding at Dort University. She was involved in an event called Dort Discovery Days, and she had a little class for nine junior high students where they put together some cards using the layout. She pre-cut the papers and the card stocks and provided the girls with different sentiment stamps and inks, and these next three photos are the cards that they created. I just thought this was such a fun idea. I love how she is um, helping the next generation love card making as well. And if you ever have something like this or something where you you want to use a sheet load of cards for an event, feel free to reach out to me so we can discuss. My email address is always in the description box of the videos. Carol S. of Indiana used the June 2021 layout to create 55 cards for the nursing homes and friends. Now something special about hers is they are just flat cards. It doesn't have a fold. And on the back she has a little stamp and signs her name. I think this is a great way to really mass produce those cards and use a little bit less cardstock, but yet there is still room on the back for a little message. Thanks so much for sharing, Carol. Alfie K of Arizona also gave vellum card bases a try for her birthday card using the June 2021 sheet load of cards. Just like Terry before, she also wanted to cover up her adhesive, so you'll see here that she cut a piece that was the same size as the piece on the front to hide that. Thank you so much for sending this in. Nancy L. from Iowa sent in this very sweet card. I love that pattern paper and how she has used the same pattern for both of the pieces on the front. Thank you so much, Nancy. Janice U. from Texas has sent in this lovely pastel card and she wrote a nice note inside. One of the things she mentioned was how since she has discovered that by watching complete YouTube videos, it helps the creator, she has been watching my sheet load of cards videos on repeat while she makes them. Thank you so much, Janice, for that extra support. Cheryl S. from Utah sent me this wonderful shaker card just because. I did notice as I was doing the voiceover that there was a little medallion on top of the gold circle that had fallen off and it says you deserve a medal. Thank you so much Cheryl for your card and your little note. Katie D. of Canada really sent in a sheet load this month. She sent in five total cards. The two on the left use the May 2021 sheet load of cards and the three on the right use June 2021. She did a little bit different for each of those June 2021 cards. One she used a white card base, one she used a colored card base, and you'll see there the one in the kind of the bottom center of those three was a fun fold. Thank you so much, Katie. Toby of the Biddy Penny channel sent me in this next card. I actually saw her make it in a video and commented how much I loved it and she gifted me with it as well as some shaker bits for a future shaker card of my own. Now, if you haven't already heard, you might wanna check out yesterday's announcement video because I introduced a couple new collaboration team members and you might just recognize one of them. Thank you so much, Toby, for the beautiful card and sequins. The next card is from Sharon M. of Indiana. I love the bright, bold paper she has used here. And it, it might be hard to see on screen, but the pink card stock in the background of the card is embossed, as well as that pink piece that she added to the envelope. I just thought that was such a neat touch. Christina M. of Illinois has shared two cards with me this month. Both of them use June sheetloads of cards, just in different years. 
On the right, she has used June 2021, and on the left, she has used June 2019. I know you can't feel it through the screen, but the one on the right, that black and white background paper, is velvety. It is so neat. And then on the left, like I mentioned, she used June 2019, and she made a coordinating envelope. I am wondering if she was watching my latest or my newest series, my sheet load rewind and was inspired for that card on the left. In case you haven't seen it, this month I started a new series called Sheet Load Rewind, and I am going to be revisiting past issues each month that might introduce you to a new sheet load you don't know about, or just maybe show you ways to update old sheet loads. Make sure to check out the description box below for a link to that playlist. Sherry P. of Missouri sent in this next beautiful card. She has used the May 2021 layout, and instead of having her plaid strip go in front of her sentiment piece, she has placed that behind it. I love how she made it her own and made it work for her sentiments. Over on the right too, I wanted to show you something she included. It looks like when she sends out cards for racks or swaps, she uses these little pieces of paper and I just thought it was cute, so I'm sharing it with you. Thank you so much, Sherry. Lori K of Minnesota recently found sheet load of cards and boy has she been busy. She sent in a whole sheet load for sure. They do use various months. This card in the center middle, she wrote me a lovely note inside and let me know that I've been helping her use up some of that pattern paper she's been holding on to. Lori, I'm so glad that you found sheet load of cards and thank you for sending in cards this month. Karen C. of Virginia has been working on a sheet load rewind herself. The three cards on the left there all use the same paper pad, but they use three different June sheet load of cards, 2019, 2020, and 2021. She also let me know that to get custom colored cardstock to match her pattern papers, she used some distress ink on it. What a great idea. Over on the right, she is using one of the printables that I provided for my channel members a couple months ago and created this wonderful card with it. If you would like to know about the perks of channel membership, I do have a link in the top of the description box below. And last but certainly not least was a package from Rita G from Ireland. You might recognize her name from last month. Her and her friend Trish both sent me envelopes and let me know that they had been crafting together online during the shutdown in their country. Well, she has sent in another lovely set of cards this month. She has used the June 2021 sheet load of cards, but not only has she made the smaller versions of it, but she has also shared a couple larger versions. I like how she's adjusting that for her needs. Also in the package was a set of enamel pins for me. Now, if you watched last month or the month before, I shared how Mary Gunn sent me in a fun university enamel pin and shared with you the board that is beside my craft area. Here is a look at it again, and it has a few different areas. So since I had some more from a subscriber, I decided that the top left of my board will be dedicated to those. Thank you so much, Rita, for sending in those pins, and I am so glad that you and Trish can get together again to craft. Don't you just love seeing all of those cards together? I know that I sure love to receive them. Thank you to everyone who took the time to make a card or cards and send them in to me to share. A special thank you to Rita. I love my enamel pins and I was so excited that I put them on my board before I did the outro to this video. So I love those and I know that every time I look at them, I'm going to think of you and Trish crafting together. If you did enjoy this video, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until the next one, which is the brand new sheet load of cards, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.